Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. And by, by now, I suspect that most of you in the XRP community have caught wind that there is a group that has formed, a new group, that uh, has a, a stated mission of pumping up the price of XRP by uh, purchasing XRP in a coordinated effort all at the same time. And I, I have to tell you guys, participating in something like that is certainly very financially dangerous. And it's also perhaps something that could get you in serious legal trouble. And so I, I'm going to share with you what I've learned from um, an, an attorney, Jeremy Hogan, who runs a YouTube channel called Legal Briefs. And I'll highlight his channel here in just a second to give credit where it's due. But uh, he's he's warning people. He's like, uh, and, and he put a disclaimer out there, and I say fair enough. You know, he's not your lawyer. Uh, and he says, go get go get uh, legal advice if you want to know how you know to best take care of your situation. And same here, I don't have a legal background either. But as an interesting point of conversation, and to get the you know the mental juices flowing, I want to share this with you. It's that you can do your own research. Maybe contact a lawyer if you so care to get you know, personal uh, counsel for yourself. But I got to tell you, there are some people engaging in this that could be in some serious legal hot water. And so I, I don't I don't want a piece of that. And I'll tell you, I, I mentioned in, uh, in a recent video, at least one, maybe two videos, I said, look, I, I, I'm aware of this pump. I'll acknowledge it, that it's, it's going uh, on, but I, I'm not going to highlight the group on this channel. Um, now, once we get to the point where their efforts, let's say their efforts fail, then I'd be willing to talk about it. I just don't want to, given my platform, I just, I do not want to highlight uh, somebody that says that they're about to engage in something that, you know, their actions would, would be illegal. And so I'm just, I'm not going to highlight the actual group. Um, you know, if the efforts fail and it's dead and there's no longer an attempt going, I'll talk about it. Or if it succeeds, the damage is already done. Um, I'll be willing to talk about it. Just like people were talking about uh, GameStop after that pump. Well, okay, I mean, Genie's out of the bottle at that point, I suppose. But I'm going to have nothing to do with supporting something like this. And it's just the whole thing, it just, it reeks to me. Like, I just, I don't like it. I know some, I don't look, I appreciate diversity thought. So if you feel differently than me, this is not some sort of attack against you. We can still be friends. But I don't like this stuff. I just, I think that the market, even like the volatility within the crypto asset class, to me, it's enough. Like, it, it really is. There's sufficient um, organic uh, speculation, ultimately resulting in it's you know ideally anyway, uh, new levels of price discovery for XRP. That's that's where we, where we hope this is all going to go. And for me, that's enough. The, you know, the, this is like there is no more volatile asset class on the planet. And to me personally, volatility is not something that's scary. It's it's something that represents opportunity. And so look, I don't have a financial background. I'm not offering financial advice. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. Like I stated, I just think it's interesting to talk about these things. And I run this YouTube channel purely as a hobby. And you can see here as I record this, XRP is at 47.2 cents. So uh, let's see what happens in the coming days. But I'll tell you what, given that I know when allegedly this, this pump is supposed to happen, if if the charts line up, then uh, you know there's tremendous price activity at that time. Then it'll be pretty clear that it uh, it, it <laughs> that, you know that the group <laughs> they achieved their intended goal. I don't know that they're going to. I'm I'm somewhat skeptical given the number of people that are involved. I mean, it sounds like a lot if I were to tell you what it is, but I'm not I'm not convinced. Um, here's a tweet from uh, that's just, just I'm gonna be clear there too though. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm saying I don't know. I'm just skeptical of. It. Um, here's a tweet from Flare Networks. The, uh, the, the, this is the entity that will be issuing Spark tokens. All our social channels are getting bombarded with XRP pump links. As a member of the XRP community, we cannot be more emphatic in our view that it is incredibly financially dangerous to take part in a coordinated pump. We certainly do not condone coordinated pumps of any kind, but crucially, in the XRP case, it is also important to point out that unlike with GameStop, there isn't a, a, a giant short position uh, to squeeze into capitulation, which I think is a re really valid point there. They didn't even get into the legal implications, which is what the rest of my video is going to focus on. But uh, even just that, you know, it, it is risky. You know, it, I just, uh, I don't want to go too off on a tangent. Uh, so here is Jeremy Hogan's channel, Legal Briefs, and uh, I'm sure some of you, like I'm sure a ton of you listening have already gone and subscribed um, because he's been talking a lot about to crypto and Ripple and XRP lately, especially what's happening with the SEC. 
And I've been spreading the word of his channel because he deserves it. He deserves to be propped up. He's putting out good stuff out there, uh, a lot of good stuff out there. And uh, it's very clear to me that the community is rallying around the content that he's he's sharing. Even though he's not offering personal, financial, or legal advice for you, just getting the perspective from a lawyer can be tremendously valuable. As you can see, he's already up to 21,700 subscribers. And so all the props to him. And I want to make sure I give credit where it's due. Because the opinions that I'm about to share with you, I, I got them from him. So I don't want to pretend like these are my own original thoughts or something. I'm always the type of guy that's just like, hey, let's give credit where it is due. You know, I don't pretend to, to, to know everything. I, I mean, I know a fair bit about the, you know, the XRP ecosystem because I've been around for a number of years. And I, I like to share what I know with the community. And you should go share it with other people if you so choose. And uh, if you want to, just, you know, I, I just like the exchange of ideas, really. And I continue to learn from all sorts of other people that are in the XRP community. And so um, here's what I had to say. So I, I took a few notes here. Now, there are um, there are federal and state laws, tons in the United States. And so I don't know, to be clear, I, I don't understand what the implications would be in other regions around the world. Specifically, Jeremy Hogan, uh, when he was talking in his video, he, he was explicitly talking about the United States. But that's that's relevant here because over half a little over half my audience happens to be in the United States. So for most of you, this will be relevant. And if not, hopefully you just find it interesting anyway. But um, federal, there are tons of federal and state laws that state you can't work in concert with others to inflate stock prices with the intent to profit from the pump. This includes non-securities and cryptocurrencies. And so, uh, and he was very clear to state that, that too. And it's it's just interesting. Like, it's not that there's 100% clarity around exactly how the chips might fall with something like this, because there are so many laws, but they all kind of go as follows. Check this out. Because look, he stated law is not well-defined, uh, but in the case of something like this, intent must be proven. So as it turns out, why you do something matters in criminal law. If you say something that is true about XRP and that causes the price of XRP to go up, but that was not your intent, then you are not in legal trouble even if you profit from such an action. If someone else said exactly the same thing a month later, causing the price of XRP to increase and then uh, that individual sells at a profit, that is a crime. And so mind you, in this example here, both humans are saying the exact same thing. They can deliver the exact same message verbatim, and one did nothing wrong, one is in trouble. See, both, uh, and the reason is because both the statement in the second case, the statement was not true, and because there was intent to pump the price. Even if the exact same thing was said by both people again. So that's just the way that this breaks, breaks down. That's what actually matters. And so... Uh, you know, I just, I, 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 so I get to thinking, I'm like, there are just an endless number of people, like on Twitter, sharing all this information about this pump group. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, like first of all, I don't like this, so like, I personally am not going to touch it. And again, nothing against you if, if you're pro this. That, I, I, okay, you know, I, it's nothing, I'm not talking about you. It's okay to have different opinions. We can still be friends. But um, not only do I personally not like it and will not participate and will not promote a pump group. Uh, on, on top of that, you know, just the legal implications, which I hadn't talked about on this channel until now because I didn't have clarity. And so that's why I really appreciate the fact that Jeremy Hogan was willing and able to put this type of information out there and hopefully get some people thinking before they do something stupid because I'll have none of this. I, I absolutely will not. Um, and so uh, check this out. I, like The question is, how do you stay out of trouble, right? <laughs> well, don't try to pump up a stock. Or or a, or a or a cryptocurrency. Just don't don't try to pump it up. You know, that, that that's the general sentiment I got from Jeremy. You know, don't post anything online that shows you have intent to pump a stock or a cryptocurrency. Anything you put on the internet, and, and Jeremy pointed this out. You know, it, it, it's forever. It just is. Anything that you put out there is forever. So in the case of this video, it's a good thing. It's here on the internet forever because the Moon Lambo channel is the best channel on all of the YouTubes and you'll want that to last forever. There's going to be people just clamoring to listen to YouTube even hundreds of years from now because the internet is forever, right? But no, seriously, whatever you put out there, it's, it's going to be somewhere. It is not gone. Everything can be tracked, okay? And so the SEC has limited resources and can't go after everyone that acted criminally and so may only go after the worst and most obvious offenders. So 
maybe don't draw attention to yourself. Maybe maybe that would be a good start. Because admittedly, there's so many people that are, are, uh, are saying, yes, I'm a part of this pump group. There's so many people saying that. And uh, it's just every single one of them, if they're helping to, to make this happen and if they're participating in it, according to Jeremy Hogan, they could seriously be in legal hot water. And I understand that if you're talking about, you know, this this number of people, I'm not citing it. I just don't feel like giving specifics out about you know, this video. But it's enough people that the SEC couldn't go after each individual. And so it's it's like, okay, who are the most obvious offenders? You know, who, who are the ones that were really at the, the base level coordinating all this? And so they'll probably be the ones that are going to end up needing to lawyer up, frankly. And, um, you know, you could just not do things that are illegal and then you don't have to worry about it. Now, on the flip side, if, you know, maybe the worst offenders, who knows, I don't even know if they're in the United States, in which case, if the SEC wants to go after somebody, they'll just find the biggest offenders that are in the United States, perhaps. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. But I don't know how this is going to go. There are all sorts of people that think it's going to actually functionally work in terms of this is going to pump the price of XRP. And there are all sorts of people that are skeptical of that. I don't really want to talk about it any further. The, the, really, the thrust of this video is just to get at the idea of, hey, if this is something that you're thinking is a good idea to do, even if you like you stand behind the idea of this, understand that there's a possibility you could be putting yourself at risk from a legal perspective, which is why I'd encourage you, if there's a question about that, to, to seek out a personal legal counsel for yourself because I can't do that. Again, I don't have a legal background. Jeremy Hogan, he's just sharing his... his, uh, his opinion on this because he is a lawyer but it's not personal you know uh, legal advice it isn't and so i want to be clear about that as well but uh, we'll see where all this goes we'll find out sooner than later but uh, you can let me know what you think below i'll wrap up there though uh, i am not a financial advisor do not buy or sell anything because of anything that i say or write that would be a very 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 bad idea until next time to the moon lambeau